Now let us see how to insert an element into an array. Let me take this array containing five elements where n is equal to five. And uh, I would like to insert an the insert a value of item that is 15 into a position 2. So as I need to insert this value, so I need to shift these three values downwards. So a of 4 will be shifted to a of 5. a of 3 will be shifted to a of 4. a of 2 need to be shifted to a of 3. For this reason, I will start a counter variable. Name of the variable is i. Let's begin with this value. So this value is one lesser than this. So this location I will call it as n minus one. I value begin with n minus one and it will go up to the value p. So whenever the i value I, have, I will take, I will do a of i plus 1 is equal to a of i. Let me begin with this value. When i is equal to 4, a of 5 is equal to a of 4. That means a of i is equal to a of i plus 1. When i goes to 3, a of 3 plus 1, that is a of 4 is equal to a of 3. When i goes to this value that is p a of 2 plus 1 that is a of 3 is equal to a of 2. In all this iteration what i did is a of i plus 1 is equal to a of i. When i is equal to n minus 1, when i is equal to 3 and when i is equal to p. That's why step number one I write, it's an iteration, it's a looping, the same procedure. That's why I will start with for, the counter variable is i. It can begin with this value that is n minus one down to, because I'm decrementing the values, decrementing from four to three, three to two, that's why down to, and it can go up to p. So for i is equal to n minus 1 down to p. So in the loop, what I do is a of i plus 1 is equal to a of i. End of for. Now I can shift this, this value, this, the value of item onto this location. That is a of 2 gets a value 15. Or a of p gets a value of item. So step number two, I write a of p is equal to item. Now, as you can see, there are six elements. Previously, I had five elements. Now there are six elements because of this insertion. So this has to be changed. n should get the value six. So n becomes n plus one. Step number three, n is equal to n plus one. Next it. Let me trace this algorithm with one set of values. There are three elements in the array. Whenever you insert an element, you need to know what is the value of item and what is the position you want to insert. So let me take item value is equal to 15 and I would like to insert at location number one. So P is equal to one. Step number one, for i is equal to n minus one. Now what is n minus one, three minus one is equal to two. Let me take i is equal to two. It can go up to p. So value of p is equal to one or two down to p. It can be decremented up to one. Now i is equal to two is valid. I will execute this a of i plus 1 is equal to a of i. Now value of i is equal to 2. So a of 2 plus 1 is equal to a of 2. So a of 2 plus 1 is a of 3. I'll copy the value of a of 2. So a of 3 is equal to a of 2. 
then the value of i will be decremented it will be decremented to 1 still it is valid I can get inside of the for loop again I will repeat the same procedure a of i plus 1 is equal to a of i a of 2 is equal to a of 1 so this value will be copied to this location now i will be decremented because of down to it will be decremented to zero as we discussed it can go only up to p it is going beyond that that's why i will come out of the for loop so i will execute end of for now i can insert this element onto this location i will execute a of p is equal to item because of this a of p so p is equal to 1 a of 1 is equal to 15 so this value will be copied to this location now after this i will execute step number 3 n is equal to n plus 1 because initially i had three elements now i have four elements it has to be incremented so n value becomes n plus 1 so 3 plus 1 it becomes 4 there are four elements in case if you display the value of array it has to display all the elements starting from 0 to n minus 1 that is 3 step number 4 exit the insertion is done Now let us see how to delete an element from the array. This is my array containing n is equal to 6, 6 elements in the array. So when you delete an element from the array, you need, you need to know only the location. So from which location I am removing. For example, let me fix, I am removing this element p is equal to 2. So 15 will be removed out of the array. So I will remove this element directly onto a variable. It can be item. After removing, I will shift the three values upwards. So let me remove this element first. And when I remove this element, I will store this value onto the variable called as item. So item gets a value of a of 2, that is a of p. So step number 1, item is equal to, this variable value is equal to a of p. Now I can shift these three values upwards. a of 2 gets a value of a of 3. a of 3 gets a value of a of 4. And a of 4 gets a value of a of 5. So if I start value of i from here it can go only up to here it cannot go to this location because I don't have any further element so I can start from here from the value of P it can go up to this so this value is 2 lesser than this n minus 2 so I can be 2 I can be 3 I can be 4 so it will be incrementing now so I can be i is equal to p to n minus 2. So when i is equal to p, what happens? I'll get the value of a of 3. a of i is equal to a of i plus 1. When i is equal to 3, a of 3 is equal to a of 4. When i is equal to 4, a of 4 is equal to a of 5. That's why I write the for loop i is equal to start from here p to it can go up to here this location value is n minus 2 as i said for i is equal to p to n minus 2 what i do in the looping a of i is equal to a of i plus 1 end of form now there are only five elements I had six elements because of the removal there are only five elements so this has to be modified what i need to do is n value changes to 
5, n minus 1, n is equal to 5. Right step B, n is equal to n minus 1. Step number 4, exit. Let me trace this algorithm with another way, another example. Let me consider this array containing four elements and I'll decide to remove an element from this location. So P is equal to one. So 23 has to be removed. Let me execute step number one. Item is equal to P of P. So I'll create a variable item. So this will give us a value of A of P. So if P is equal to one now, so 23 is copied to the variable called as item. After this execution, I'll go to step number two. I'll get a value for I. I'll initialize a value for I. I is equal to P. Now P value is equal to one. So I gets the value of that. It can go up to n minus two, that is four minus two, two. When it goes beyond that, the for loop will be terminated. Now let us see, i is equal to one, I'll get inside. I will execute this. A of i is equal to A of i plus one. Y is equal to one, A of one gets a value of A of two. So 33, need to be copied to location 23. 38 is copied to location 23. After this, I will be incrementing because it is two now, not down to, it is two. Incrementing, I becomes two. As I told, still this is valid. I'll get inside. I'll execute A of I is equal to A of I plus one. So a of two is equal to a of three. So this gets a value of this. So 45 is copied to a of two. I is incremented, I is equal to three. As I told you, it can go only up to this. When it is going beyond this, I'm terminating the for loop. End of for is executed. Step number three, n is equal to n minus one. Now there are four elements. I need to restrict only till this point. So this is decremented to three. If I access this array, it can only access up to this location because this value is not considered as a part of the array later. That's why I do n is equal to n minus and it becomes three. There were four elements. Now there are only three elements because 23 is removed from this list. Step number four, exit. 